that one guy has put a lot of work into his Rosaluma, and... It's it's tough to play against. It is it is a frustrating experience to play against. Um, now, well, I personally believe the, that Rosaluma uh, wins in this matchup. Um, I do believe that Mario is one of the characters who is well equipped to deal with Luma, just due to his amazing amazing property of his aerials where he seems to auto cancel everything no matter what he does um now luma is obviously gonna be a huge problem when it comes to his uh grab and throw combos but so he's so mario's not gonna be able to be as reliant on those as he would be in other matchups uh in any other matchup to be honest um but his aerials are still amazing on shield. They're not going to be able to be punished. I, I know one of the biggest turtles that I have to overcome when fighting against Rose or uh, Mario is the uh, instinct to shield grab all of his aerials, um, where he can just keep you in shield stun long enough to like throw out a, a smash attack before your grab comes out, and then he can just trade favorably in those situations. So I think that's really what Mario's going to need to do. This is one of Mario's worst matchups, though. Uh, he is going to be having some trouble dealing with Luma, especially. Uh, and, the, like, the percents where throw combos are going to be relevant are not the percents where Luma's commonly dead. We have that one guy taking the first stock, covering a lot of options with that forward smash. Uh, Spectre I'd probably reading a roll in towards center stage. That's a very common roll for new players to go for. Uh, it's a pretty decent read. Um, the one thing I really like about the read is that it really demoralizes your opponent if they get hit by it. Um, that roll towards center stage. Um, Mentality is a huge part of this game. Uh, so obviously the difference between getting a kill due to a somewhat disrespectful read is huge because your opponent's just gonna be playing not as well as they could because they're angry. And that forward smash is gonna kill super early. 84% is when that connected and it killed. I'm imagining that it was not completely optimal DI by uh, Spectroid there. Um, but it's hard to be sure. <laughs> Did not hear where they're thinking about going. Um, they're going to go to Delfino. Um, Mario's got home field advantage here, uh, as this is from Mario Sunshine. Um, but that does not mean a whole lot in the Smash Bros. universe. Uh, I have seen a lot of Mario's counter pick here. I think that this is a good Rosa Luma stage, though, due to its super low ceiling and transitions. You're going to kill with up air strings at, like, sub 60% if you, if you up air string right. If you get, if you get the strings going right, if you read their jumps and air dodges. You can kill super early during transitions. Um, of match one? Yes. Uh, match one went to uh, that one guy with a nice forward smash. Uh, not really read, he was more just covering recovery options there. Um, nice sharking there by Spectroid to attack on some percent while he gets back on stage. Um, that's an advantage that this stage does offer uh, to care. To, it's, it's more um, for. A large part, it's a player advantage as opposed to a character advantage, uh, whether you, or not you're comfortable with the sharking. Um, Rosaluma can't shark as well because her recovery just isn't conducive for sharking. Uh, it just it just has a ton of landing lag unless you sweet spot the stage, and that's a dead Luma, which is gonna be which is gonna make um, Spectroid taking out the stock a lot easier. Okay, nice recovery there from that one guy. Like I said, uh, not sweet spotting the ledge is probably going to cost that one guy a stock at this point. Um, and that's a nice sub smash, just running up and, and doing it wrong, like not even any setup, and that's going to take the first stock. Um, 
Okay, uh, that was a really smart. Uh, rather than going for the up tilts, which would have been interrupted by Luma, he's just gonna go down throw up smash to uh, get the percent immediately. And oh, Luma covering that, for that one guy there with that, uh, preventing that or Spectroid from punishing that laggy recovery. And that's gonna be a forward air for the kill. 22% uh, extra credit for Spectroid, which is not really what you would hope for as Mario. Very dangerous situation right now, uh, where either character can die at super early because of this walk-off. Um, I really don't like to play on the walk-offs unless I'm really far ahead or really far behind, just because it's it can change a game that you had a possibility to win into a game you're definitely going to lose, and I just don't like that basically RNG factor, who gets the luckier read, essentially. So I try to avoid playing uh, on the walk-offs as much as possible. That's why I banned Castle Siege. I think Castle Siege's second transformation is awful. Uh, we have a slight lead here by the Mario. Uh, basically a tie game. Uh, as soon as I say it was a slight lead, uh, Rosaluma takes the lead away from Mario. Uh, I like this fireball and the dash attack that uh, that Spectroid's doing to just tack on a few percents here and there. Accidental B reversal, I'd imagine. He did not want to be facing that way. He did not want to be in that position. But he recovers back to neutral. Uh, Spectroid, of course, is who I'm referring to. B reversing that fireball. Um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with what a B reverse is, it's uh, when you input a B move and then immediately slam the opposite direction you're facing. Um, and what it the result is, is you are now facing the direction you slammed, and your momentum is transferred to the opposite direction. You'll pretty much, if you're going like X miles per hour to the left, you'll be going X miles per hour to the right now. Um, so it's a really good movement option. Oh, that's being there. That is really, that was, that was a game that was very much in Spectroid's reach. Uh, and now he has to mount a 3-0 comeback if he wants to win this set, um, which is not the position you want to find yourself in. Although it is not insurmountable by any means, uh, Spectroid, if he continues to download his opponent, he did better there than he did in game one. So if he continues to just improve every game, um, then he definitely has it within him to take this set. Uh, going to Duck Hunt. Now that up air string that I was referring, talking about with Delfino that Rosaluma can get for super early kills, that's not going to happen here unless uh, Spectroid finds himself on the tree on the left side of the stage, which shouldn't really be happening. Nice dash attack punish there, nice and simple. Uh, like I said, the grabs are not going to be as huge in this matchup just because Luma is going to be interrupting the grab combos a lot. So rather than go for a, uh, a grab there for the punish, he goes for a... Uh, he goes for the uh, dash attack, which is which is um, which is a pretty smart move to make in the Rosaluma matchup. Um, that's one of the things that I think really makes Rosaluma a good character um, is that she changes the way you have to play the game. Uh, you can't you can't like say pummel three times before after you get a grab and then go into the throw. Um, you have to be cognitive of what Luma is going to be doing to you at all times. Um, it's also one of the reasons why a lot of players are dropping her in tier lists like, as the game develops, because the reason she was so good is because she forces you to play the game differently. But just because she forces you to play the game in a different way does not necessarily mean that when she forces you to play the game this way, you do bad. It's just you need to have a different mindset when playing this character. And we have a nice down air kill there by uh, that one guy. He's not really getting... Oh, that forward smash looks so good. But uh, Rosaluma's amazing there, uh, which just stays out for so long and just has so many utility options to it. I really think that forward smash would have killed because it was charged. Uh, forward air there, um, not really doing much except giving uh, Spectroid stage position and tacking on some additional percent. Um, that Nair was really smart. He uh, poked the, the shield with the Nair and then he faded away before Luma could get a punish there. Um, now what I'm not seeing a lot of from Spectroid this set is, or in either set that I've watched him play, is the down air, which um, has, if you use it during the right parts of your jump, has almost no landing lag. Um, 
And a lot of players drop shield before it finishes and get hit by the last hit or two. Uh, and now we see Spectroid going for those down airs more. Um, yeah, and it's just a, it's, a, it's a really solid move in the neutral just because your opponents you can't power her shield just because it's multi hit and your opponents likely because of the way shield stun is so short in this game your opponent's gonna drop shield but your your opponent is likely to drop shield if he's smart if he knows the Mario matchup well he's not gonna drop shield but if your opponent drops shield he's gonna get hit by the last two hits you might be able to get a grab another aerial. Uh, Without a jump there, wasn't really much Spectroid can do. He's going to lose this set 3-0. Um, and now we're moving on to Grand Finals.